traveling guitar players. I'm Jeff Garvin from Traveler Guitar. I received a very important email from a customer this week named John, and John had just received his Pro Series. He was very excited about it, but he opened the guitar and he looked at it, and he just had no idea what all the parts were. It was completely different than a guitar he'd seen before. Uh, and he wanted to know what the knobs and switches were. He wanted to know why there was no headstock. Uh, and he made a really great suggestion. He said, why don't you guys make a box opening video that explains all that stuff about the Pro Series? And that's exactly what we're about to do. All right, so this is the original triangle box that the Traveler Guitar Pro Series comes in. Depending on where you bought yours, you may or may not ever see this box, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop it open. All right, here we go. So this is the Pro Series in its gig bag. Uh, I'm going to attack the pouch first, so let's open this up. All right, so we've got the Stethophone headset, which I'm going to set aside for now and come back to. Um, and then we've got this little plastic bag full of goodies. Let's pull this out. So i got two pieces of paper here. This looks like it's got stringing and tuning information, and then it's also got warranty information on it. I'm going to set that aside. And then this is your warranty card. Put a stamp on there, your return address, fill it out with your serial number and send this into Traveler Guitar. Register your guitar. Also inside this plastic bag is a little bag of tools. I'm going to go ahead and set these aside and we'll get back to these in a minute. All right. Okay. I'm going to open up the gig bag. Here we go. All right. So I call this the space bag. You may or may not see this depending on where you order your guitar. It's used to insulate and protect the guitar during shipping. You do not need to keep this bag, unless of course you want to. I'm going to fold it up. All right, let's set this gig bag aside. So here it is, the Pro Series as it ships. Um, this is in what we call stow configuration with the lap rest over here. Um, so let me just talk about the parts of this guitar for a second. So the body and neck of this guitar is one solid piece of Eastern American hard maple. Um, the guitar has rollers on the end here where the strings go around the edge of the body. And on the other end is this end cap, which is where the ball end of the strings get anchored. Um, and then you'll see the unique thing about this is that the guitar tuners are recessed into the body. Um, it's just like a three on a side headstock would be up here, but the tuners are in the body. So this is E, A, D, G, B, and E. Um, the Pro Series has a couple different uh, pickup configurations, and I'm going to show you those in just a minute. But for now, I'm going to turn the guitar over. I'm going to show you how to put it into playing configuration. So I'm going to flip this over. And the first thing, you, you, might or, you may or may not see this when you get your guitar, uh, this little yellow card. It just tells you how to... Uh, to transform the guitar from stow to playing configuration. Um, and this is the little brass thumb screw that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers, unscrew the thumb screw, set that aside, set this little card aside. So now I've got the lap rest. Now there's a little cable that goes from the lap rest of the guitar. You can plug it and unplug it however you wish. This just allows the guitar to communicate with the volume and pickup selector controls. So this was stow configuration. I'm just going to turn it 180 degrees. And you can see there are three holes on this lap rest. The center one meets up with this little rod here. So I'm going to press that right there. Just press down firmly, and there it is. I'm going to use the thumb screw again to attach the lap rest firmly. So there I go. So now, as you can see, we are in playing configuration. Okay, let's talk about the guitar. We've got a single coil electric pickup here, and under the saddle piezo acoustic electric pickup here, volume for the piezo, volume for the single coil, and a three-way selector switch. Now, let me talk about the pickup selector. In the up position, you're going to hear just the sound from the single coil electric guitar pickup. In the down position, you're going to hear just the sound from the under the saddle piezo acoustic electric pickup. But if you put it in the middle, you can blend these two pickups. This is one of the reasons why this guitar has been around since 1992. It's so versatile. You can get so many different kinds of sounds out of it. Um, so those are the amplified solutions. Then we have inside the guitar is the diaphragm of a stethophone. 
Um, the cold metal thing that the doctor puts on your chest is actually inside this guitar, uh, picking up the vibration of the wood. So if you take your Stethophone headset and unwrap it, it's just like the thing the doctor listens to, only on the top of this guitar, there's a little brass port. And I'm going to take this tube and insert it onto the port. And now I can put these in my ears and listen to the guitar without any kind of amplification, no batteries or anything. It's a great private listening solution. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug those. All right, if you want to plug the guitar into an amplifier, uh, your quarter inch jack is right here. It's a little bit of a different placing, but it keeps it out of the way. I like to use a right angle plug. You can fit a straight guitar jack in there. I just find the right angle plug a little bit easier. I'm just going to reach up under there, pop it in like that, and then I can go ahead and play that through an amplifier. Okay, so let's talk about the tools that come with. Here's a little plastic bag of tools that came in the gig bag pouch. I'm just going to open these up, pop them out. So the first thing I see is a hex wrench. This is used to adjust the truss rod. Every Traveler guitar has a fully adjustable truss rod and the way you access it is right here at the end cap. So you can see the ball end of the strings go in here and then there's this little brass nut. That's the truss rod adjustment and you just slip this wrench onto it and you can turn and adjust the truss rod. If you've adjusted the truss rod on your regular electric or acoustic guitar, feel free to do the same on your Traveler guitar. If you're not comfortable doing that, we recommend you take it to a setup tech, bring that wrench with you, and he'll be able to adjust your truss rod. Okay, so we've also got this larger black Allen wrench. This is for adjusting the tightness of the Stethophone diaphragm. So if you flip your guitar over, you'll see this little hex port right here. If you put this wrench in there, you can turn that nut left or right and tighten or loosen the diaphragm. If you tighten it too much, it's going to sound muffled, and if you loosen it too much, it's not going to be quite as responsive. So you just got to find that sweet spot uh, to optimize the sound of that stethophone pickup. Okay, so now we're down to two more pieces. We've got our little silver hex wrench, and this is really easy. This is simply for adjusting the tightness of the knobs so that you can pull them off and on for cleaning or whatever else you'd like to do if you'd like to switch the knobs out. So that's what that one's for. And then at last we have this littler brass thumb screw. So I'm going to turn the guitar over once again and this fits right into that same threaded port we had the lap rest attached to and now you've got a second place for a strap pin. So I can put one strap pin there, one strap pin there, attach it to my strap, and strum without having it sit on my lap. So there you go. That is the Traveler Guitar Pro Series right out of the box. I'm Jeff Garvin for Traveler Guitar. Thanks for watching, and as always, rock on.